Welcome back to Ryan Campbell on Soup to Nuts. I'm Ryan. Hi. In today's video, uh, this idiot is going to be doing some wheel things. I'm going to be doing some uh, fitment of the work CR two piece wheels. Sorry for the spittle, but I have a condition. And I'm also going to be doing a uh, rough alignment. It's not going to be perfect, but I'm going to get kind of somewhat aligned. Coming right at ya! You are tuned in to Ryan Campbell, Soup to Nuts. How's it hanging? Are you hanging in there? With this uh, virus crap going on in this crazy old world, I hope you're doing well. Uh, so, uh, as I uh, previously, my associate, the uh, wacky old guy, has uh, told you already, I'm going to be doing some wheel things. I'm going to be fitting the uh, CR2 piece wheels. Uh, on the, I'm gonna, they're already kind of fitted, but I'm gonna put them on the car and then put the car on the ground. I haven't done that yet, so I just want to make sure there's no clearance issues, not that rubs or hits when the the car is, you know, fully on the ground and, you know, the suspension is compressed and all that uh, good nonsense. But first, before I get to that point, what I'm gonna be doing is a little bit of an alignment. It's not gonna be perfect because I don't have, you know. All the computers, alignment rack stuff that these fancy dancy, these fancy schmancy shops got nowadays. Uh, I'm gonna be doing somewhat of a rough alignment. I just want to kind of get it somewhat close so it, you know, kind of tracks somewhat straight down the line. It isn't too too far off now. You know, looking after I got the wheels on, but it's you know the steering wheel isn't perfectly straight when the wheels are straight type of thing and I want you know that is a big pet peeve I like to have the, you know we're cruising to have the wheels straight uh, and it does look like it's slightly off I haven't measured yet but I'm gonna do somewhat of a rough alignment and then uh, so that way just so I can get the car you know going get the car running on the road uh, take it to the shop to get tuned so then I can actually really you know drive it somewhere if you, you know need to drive it to an alignment shop. Uh, right now, even if I get it running, it's good, probably it's gonna run like hell. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm getting close. Uh, but it's gonna drive. I mean, it's gonna run like hell because it's gonna be on the stock ECU. It's gonna have no tune to it, and it's just not. It's gonna be a mess. So I'm gonna do probably time lapse, and I'll show you. Let me show you something. Let me show you something, Sonny boy. See, I got the stock wheels on here. Uh, all the way around. I mean, I'm only showing you the driver's side, but I got the stock wheels on temporarily. I'm probably going to just do a time lapse of me running around uh, doing alignment, and once I have everything set up and get things kind of aligned, I'll show you exactly what I did, so that way you can kind of, you know, you, you kind of see what's involved in alignment a little bit, at least a garage alignment. Uh, I might actually later on do kind of what a lot of the pro drift teams do, and they have, uh, I don't know the technical name of the tool, but basically like a piece of metal that goes and presses up against the wheel and then they measure off of that uh, you know to do the toe in and toe out uh, I might actually get them and do my own alignment later on so that way it'll be you know I think you know they get pretty accurate alignments maybe it's not laser accurate but it'll be accurate enough I, I actually I, I mean I might get it try it and if I don't like it I can still take it to a shop can I? Can I? Boy, live! Alright, so I'll do a time lapse of me just running around like a stupid idiot under the car, in the car. Uh, I probably have to hop, uh, st uh, hop the uh, hop. I probably have to take the steer knuckle back off the rack and then because uh, I might not have it on the right spline, so I might have to, you know, kind of take it off the rack and spin it and put it back on. Uh, so that way the steering wheel will be straight and then I'll uh, fine tune the uh, tie rods after that. Um, but uh, I'll probably just do some time lapse and then when I get some things settled and uh, taken care of, I'll show you on video, I'll go over step by step of uh, what came out of this guy. Okay.
Hi. <laughs> so I uh, got the alignment basically done, the, the rough alignment. It's not, you know, computer digitalized crap, but it'll steer fairly straight. Straight enough that it's not going to, you know, pull me all over left, right, center, back. So, uh, I'll show you what I did. So, so, I use, I mean, you can use anything, but I use jack stands. You can use anything that's somewhat stable and, you know, has a little bit of height. So use jack stands, put a rope around it, or a string, actually. I put a string around it, and then, so you want to get it square on the back wheel. So, what I did is I measured off the, the wheel on the back here, and then do it here, and then you got to get them the same. So... Uh, you might have to move that one left or right, and the same thing, the one up there, it might have to move slightly left or right to get this square. So you want to square to the back wheel, because the back wheel doesn't have any toe adjustment, it just stays square, unless it's damaged or, or something's bent. Which hopefully it's not the case. So then, come up front, and then you want to square up the front. But in order to square up the front at that point, you got to adjust the tie rod end. And here's the uh, this this piece is the tie rod end. So uh, I mean I guess some cars could be different, but most cars that I've worked on to adjust the tie rod end, basically you have this uh, locking nut. It's not a lock nut, but it's like a, a locking nut. It locks anything from moving. So you have to take this locking nut, you have to loosen it, get in here with a wrench, open that wrench, and then just crack it loose, and then just unthread it so there's a little bit of a gap here, and just you know thread it up a little bit. Uh, as you can see. You know, you see the uh, some of the paint got you know torn off from the nut. So I back you back this off, and then basically depending on which way you need to move the wheel, you start. There's a this is around is kind of a hexagonal, and so basically you just take a small. It's a smaller wrench. I think this was a 13 maybe, and I think this one was like a 21 or 22 maybe. Um, I think that's what the sizes were, but don't don't quote me on that. So you want to take a wrench on here, and then basically you just either turn it clockwise or, or uh, actually I went the wrong way, <laughs> either turn it clockwise or counterclockwise, left or right. Uh, again, I went right and left. Anyway, you just turn it one way or the other depending on which way you need to move the wheel. So uh, basically turning one way, you know, it pushes this rod in or, you know, it pushes the, the, the tie rod end either further away or it pulls it in. Basically, you know, I just did that. It took about, you know, seven or eight adjustments before I got it right so I turned it a bunch and then see you know, how far to go and just you know kept doing that type of game uh, and then once you get it done you hold the wrench on here to hold this steady and then you tighten this down so you have to, you know hold this steady so that it doesn't turn it anymore while you're locking that down and just tighten it and you're done So uh, next up, I'm going to time lapse. I'm taking these wheels off, and I'm going to go and get the other work CR two piece wheels to throw on here, and then lower onto the ground, and then uh, I'm going to turn the wheel, make sure there's no clearance issues. So uh, I'm going to time lapse that, and then after the time lapse, um, I'll bring you back and show you. Hopefully, fingers crossed that there's no issues. But in the meantime, sit tight, hold on to your shorts, because it's going to be a wild ride. So you saw there in the uh, little time lapse that um, um, yeah. work wheels are now mounted on the car and the car is off the jack stands on the ground. Unbelievable. Mind blowing. 
Alright, uh, good thing too. Positive. Positives. Uh, there's no clearance issues. It, it doesn't hit anything. I turned the wheel left, right, locked it out left, locked it out right. Uh, right now it's locked out left, so I'll show you, you know, that there's no clearance issues, no clearance issues in the back. Um, and about the uh, two uh, uh, things that I hope will be okay. One is uh, there's a it, the rear wheels poke out a little bit more than I was really hoping for. I don't mind a tiny bit of poke, but I was trying to get a little bit flusher with the uh, body, with the fender. But they poke out a little bit, but... I you know I'm not I'm not too you know upset. It looks a little bit aggressive, so uh, I can work, I can work with aggressive. Ryan Campbell soup to nuts can work with aggressive. Believe me. Uh, show you that, and I also think that the uh, it seems like there's a lot of wheel gap more so than previous car, even though it's all the same suspension and it's the same diameter wheels. I don't know what's going on. Pretty much the same size tires. Uh, I think they're within. They're very, very close. They're not the same exact size tires, but they're very close. Uh, as far as like the height of the sidewall is is pretty is pretty it's it's pretty. Um, but there's a little more wheel gap that I remember. I remember I didn't have it like tucked and slammed, but you know there was a little bit of a gap. But it was like it was a, a respectable looking gap. It didn't look horrible. I don't want to slam it anyway because then every time you hit one little bump or one little this, that, you're getting rubbing, all sorts of problems. I don't need that in my life. Too old for that crap. I'm hoping that the, uh, you know, once the car moves around a little bit more, that the suspension will actually settle and uh, it's still basically, you know, it's not compressed yet. So I'm hoping once I move around a little bit, it'll settle and then, you know, it'll, it'll get to a little bit better height. If not, worst case scenario, uh, I got to get like coilovers or. Yeah, you know, I mean, if I get new new springs or whatever, I'll probably just get coilovers. So worst case scenario, I gotta get coilovers. I mean, I can still drive the car around, all that type of crap. I'm not 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 yet, but I mean, once I get to the point, like this won't stop me from driving the car, and I could just do it one weekend here or there, or whatever, whatever have you. Uh, enough of my ramble. Let me show you uh, the clearance front wheel. So I got it uh, pinned to the left right now. This is you know I don't have an angle kit or any drifting thing. You know, anything like that on the car. So this is locked out um, left, obviously. Uh, B. So there's no, it doesn't hit anywhere. Uh, I'll try to get a couple angles here. It doesn't hit. No hitting anywhere. I know it might not look perfect on camera, perfect angles, but I can assure you. That there is definitely you know a decent amount of clearance all all the way around the wheel. Same thing with the rear. All right, so now the rear poke. You can kind of catch it there. You see the you know the rubber kind of sticking past. Uh, I'm trying to get how it looks in person. It's maybe it looks maybe something a little bit like that. So you see the, like the black sticking past the blue fender. That's like the wheel or, or the tire poking past the uh, edge of the fender, so it you know it looks, you know, it makes the rear look a little bit wider. You see, kind of, you know, I'm trying to get it square. I'm trying to square up the camera here, but uh, maybe something like that. I don't know. And man, hey, maybe maybe this will give you a better look. I don't know. So it looks, you know, maybe. Something like that, but overall, I'm 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 pleased with my purchase. I'm a, a pleased pa papa, please papa, pre please please problem papa pa. Ah, all right. So uh, it uh, things went pretty decently in this uh, video here for you. So obviously you got the steering wheel squared away and taken care of, the alignment is all taken care of and all that good crap. The steering wheel and the steering column all that stuff bolted up, mounted up tight so you can check that crap off the damn list. Off the goddamn list. Uh, and you see you got the wheels fitted so at this point uh, I'm not going to film it or anything. I'm just going to jack the car back up, back on jack stands. And take the wheels off and, you know, stack them up somewhere else uh, out of the way so they don't uh, accidentally get any damage. 
next coming up, next uh, video coming out shortly for you. <laughs> Uh, I actually today went and picked up the uh, inner core piping that was uh, mostly tacked together by my boys at Dynamic Performance, Alan. Uh, hi, how you doing? <laughs> hey, what's up, bud? <laughs> right. uh, but I picked up the inner core piping that was damaged that I had them uh, make uh, fabricate new pieces for me. So, but to do that, I have to, you know, bolt on or temporarily bolt on the front end, like the radiator, the radiator support, uh, the core support, whatever the hell you want to call it. I don't get it been out of shape here. Uh, so I got to bolt that on and then uh, temporarily bolt up the uh, inner core so that way I know exactly where inner core will sit so I can see how all the piping lines up, how everything fits up with the piping. Because uh, if we have to make any adjustments, I have to cut a couple of uh, tack welds or mark it. Or a couple cup, cut a couple tack welds and mark it. Uh, you know if the angles are slightly off. Uh, hopefully it'll be okay because there is obviously a little bit of play with the uh, the, the rubber coupling. So, but if we need to make adjustment, we make an adjustment. Uh, so I gotta do that. That's next uh, video coming uh, ah, right at you. Yeah, didn't didn't see that coming, did ya? Did ya, pal? Did ya? <sighs> I I, I got I gotta cool down here. My apologies. My apologies, sir and madam. Uh, so that's coming up uh, next, and after that, we'll probably be doing uh, bumper fitment because uh, you probably saw in some of the time last whatever, there's a big brown box in the uh, garage here uh, with the bumper in it. So uh, that's going to be coming up shortly for you soon as well. So in the meantime, stay safe, be careful. Crazy damn times we're living in. I mean, this is just wild, wild, cuckoo crap going on out there. So stay safe, be careful. Um, you know, take all the precautions you know, need to take to protect you and your family, you and yours. And um, besides that, now I'm going to tell you the exact opposite of vice. Drive fast! Take chances! <laughs>